built the car in about three weeks of non-stop 20-hour days and about eight thousand dollars so basically we're just trying to get a couple laps in and uh, just prove people wrong saying we couldn't do it so I mean we don't have it's not a million dollar car it's never been run before besides one lap yesterday we got in and basically we're just trying to see how far we can go with what we got so I'd like to say that this is a, a cooperation, not a competition. Everybody works together. Somebody had a problem yesterday. It wasn't just that team working on it. They got a part from somebody else. Another team over here loaned them a welder. Another guy from another team came out and actually did the welding for them. It was a great because once you finally get here, these are all winners. It's what we're talking about in this process. You distill down the, the, the project till you get to this point. And everybody here is number one. Twenty years ago, I was trying to get kids to do more things and try to enjoy physics more. I'm a physics teacher, uh, teach biology too, but they, they, they just didn't want to do very much. So a good friend of mine with the University of North Texas had a solar car project. And he said, why don't you build one? There's a race starting here in Arlington. You can follow it up to Minnesota and let the kids have an experience. I did, and the kids still didn't want to do much with the textbook, and they got out there, and one of the young men dropped a wrench across a battery, and there's a huge amount of sparks. And the kid came back to the classroom, and it was sort of almost smoke coming off of him from the experience, and he said, Doc, I want to find out about Ohm's Law. Let's get out the textbook. First lap in there. We're uh, all pretty excited to say the least. There he is right now, going past the finish line. And um, hopefully, no more problems for the rest of the week.